if you want to like sip your morning coffee while you watch this, get ready for bed, take off or put on your makeup while you're watching it, go ahead. Hi guys, I'm Lexi and you're about to watch my fashion and art haul. I have some art and book supplies and then some clothes that I want to show off and the first piece I guess I can talk about is my thrifted NASCAR jacket. It's a good party piece to be honest. That's what I was thinking for when I bought it. I was like if I'm just out wanting to look goofy this is going to be perfect. I'm viewing it the same way as I viewed my faux fur coat which is when I'm going out and I don't give a fuck. I'm just trying to look goofy and feel myself. That's what this jacket is. But with this studio light, it's getting really hot. So I'm going to take it off. Very logo, which I feel like a lot of street style is logo filled. Um, just like NASCAR because of all the sponsors and stuff. Big fan. Uh, I want to talk about art stuff now and then I'll go back to clothes. Is that cool with you? I hope so because realistically you don't have a choice. I went to Blick Art Supplies and if you're not familiar with Blick but you like art I would check them out because I think you'll like them. I got three different books and I think books for me I'm a huge book person because I learn really well from them. The first book is How to Draw What You See and this is by Rudy de Renya, Re Reina. I'm not really familiar in the art culture whatsoever but I'm trying to become because it's something that I appreciate and I respect. I'm just not that knowledgeable on it. And the thing that caught my eye about this is the fact that it's called How to Draw What You See and my art teacher in high school, she'd say like, don't draw what you know, draw what you see. And like, I, I know what a hand looks like, but I would try to draw and it just wouldn't turn out that well. But if I would put my hand down on the desk and then I would draw what I saw, it always looked more realistic. And so this just goes into more detail about that. So on the back it says, everyone wishes that he could faithfully reproduce the world around him, wishes that he could draw what he sees. Here's a book to teach you how to do that. Rudy Dorenya believes that there's only four basic shapes in nature, the cube, the cylinder, the cone, and the sphere. Every object is based on one of these geometric shapes, although the shape itself may be greatly modified. Once you can see the basic shape of an object, you can draw that object no matter how much detail it may contain. In this book, it mostly starts off with what I just said on the back with the four basic shapes of geometry, and then it goes into more things like wine bottles and fruit and faces and feet. Hopefully I can become better. Something I draw all the time just on scratch papers and stuff is mannequins. I'm really good at drawing mannequins and that's just the basic formation of the figure. But then I saw this book and this is not really like a little book. It's more like a big kind of tutorial book and it's how to draw and paint the figure. Because I think people are so pretty and like, th like drawing a female's body, it's just, oh, like it's so beautiful and I want to be able to do it. So that's what this is for. The third and final book that I got from Blick is I used to be a design student and this caught my eye based on the actual cover. I just like how it looks. This book offers a rare chance to read what graphic designers feel about their education and profession. 50 influential designers give the lowdown on their student days and their professional lives. A piece of their college work is shown alongside with an example of their current work. Each designer also offers a key piece of advice and a warning, making this a must read for anyone embarking on a career in design. Super cool, right? I got this book because it reminds me of two of my favorite Instagram accounts, Love Watts and Artex Design. I don't know. This is more just a book for inspiration, to be honest with you. Uh, I got this pencil case from Blick. This will be just a good makeup bag, also a good place to keep pencils. My makeup bags have all become really dirty, and this is good for brushes as well. From Playlist Live, I acquired two other art things. My friend Blaze, who makes art, he drew this one for me. And this one he just drew on a piece of paper and I was like, he left this in the hotel. This can't go left behind, so I'm going to take it because it's bigger. So now I have two options. Blaze Brooks, great artist. Mentioned him in my last video. Go follow him on Instagram. Then my beloved Zoe, one of my favorite subscribers of all time, she brought this to my meetup. She got me this, I almost said gourmet, just very fancy beautiful high quality coloring book. Thick pages my friend, like these are thicker than sketchbook paper of these beautiful intricate flowers and the first and the last page are already painted and colored in. 
and I'm looking at these flowers for tattoo ideas because I think they're beautiful. She also got me a really nice set of colored pencils. They're just in my desk right now and I didn't think I needed to bring them out. But thank you so much, Zoe. I'm very appreciative for the gift that you provided me at the Playlist Live Meetup. The final art thing that I have acquired recently is this uh, picture coffee table book by Gerald Davis and it's called Strange Stories. Look at the front. This is why it caught my eye and this is why I bought it. Looking through here, oh my god, these photos are incredible. So vintage, like funky and quirky, but also kind of provocative. I'm not even sure if he color corrects or if this is just because the cameras made photos look like this back in the day. I'm gonna have overlays that you can just really take it all in. It's interesting and this is something that I would rather have on my coffee table than some of the other coffee table books that I've seen at Borders and Barnes and Noble. Like, I don't know, just like a hundred years of Louis Vuitton. Like that's, that's just not me, you know? But like this, naked mom walking her son on the street, that, that's me. Now on to the clothes. Thank you so much for making it through the art portion of the video. I really enjoyed it. I hope that you did too. At Playlist Live, I acquired two hats. One is from my good friend at Always Again. It says Always Again on the back and it's a white baseball cap. And then it has uh, coordinates that I think it's the difference between Union Station in New York and is there a Union Station in California? something like that. It reminds me very much of my I Think About You Sometimes hat, which I've Instagrammed before, and it's a black cap, and it has these daggers right here on the side, and that's the whole reason why I bought the hat, because I love knives. I think they're so cool. Knives are, like, badass, but some of them can even be beautiful, and I just have, like, an affinity for them, so I liked that hat, and this reminded me of that hat, so thanks, Issa. And then from my good friend Allie at Jawbreaking, I got a hat that said beer on it because that's so funny. The next place I went was Nasty Gal. Nasty Gal is my current staple safety store that I just know that if I go in there I can find something that I like if I need to shop for something. The first thing I got from Nasty Gal is this little play suit or romper and it's this light almost, it's linen but it looks denim from far away. Nightwalker is the brand and it has these vintage looking flowers on it. I like the style of it. They're embroidered on um, mustard is a color I've been seeing a lot recently for spring, which is so interesting because I think of it as a fall color. The only thing I'm not crazy about is the bottom of this. It'll sometimes give me the look of wearing a diaper, and that's definitely not ideal when you're trying to look like a 20 year old. The next piece I got is from Teen Plo. Also, all these things are from Nasty Gal, but Nasty Gal has different brands within it, and it's a baby pink t shirt dress. And if you don't already own a t-shirt dress. I highly recommend that you grab one. It's just like a really easy, comfortable, loose fitting piece and there's a lot of ways you can style it. It was one of the outfits that I wore at Playlist Live and I wore it with like these high black boots but I've also, you know, worn it with my Air Force Ones and like an Adidas jacket. So you can dress this up or down. Very versatile. This shopping trip really reminded me how much I like pairing things together and I do actually care about what I'm wearing. I like making outfits. Shout out to Kaylee McKenzie. She has recently started this series on her channel where she makes, I think it's, what is it called? The, not the future of fashion, that was Alexa Chung. It's some sort of like fashion education series that might actually be the title of it and I highly recommend that you guys watch it because I don't know anything about fashion but I'm thoroughly entertained by it. Some other things that I picked up at Nasty Gal are some bralettes and I got two of the exact same. They're both by Honey Punch. I got this gray one and then I got this blush burnt orange color. Okay, now for some pants. My, my, my. These are my favorite thing that I bought during this trip at Nasty Gal. These huge bell-bottom linen pants and it's the exact same maker as the play suit. However, I think these pants are 10 times better. They have the same exact flowers. They're just on the bottom of the leg. I paired it with this top, which is just a Nasty Gal top. Um, no other brand. And it's like this, uh... I feel like there's definitely a word for a top like this. It's just not coming to my mind. Just this nice flowy top that you can tie in the front just with a bow, or you can wrap around and tie in the back and give it more of like that wrap dress feel. But if I were to style these pants again, I think I might do next time something like a little bit edgier, maybe just like a black tight graphic tee or just like a black 
crop top. Whereas when I styled it for Playlist Live, it was a very like, I am a 70s girl, like I'm a hippie, I sway in the wind, and that's how that was. <laughs> The final thing that I got at Nasty Gal, I think I'm actually going to return because it was like 200 and something dollars and I don't think I need it in my life. It's this summer night dress, I would say. It has this deep cut which is really flattering, but I'm not crazy about the pattern and it's a high-low dress and I don't really care about high-low dresses anymore to be honest. And I feel like I wouldn't continue wearing this dress. I feel like I'd wear it, get some photos in it, and then be over it. Like, I'm borderline already sick of it, and I haven't even taken the tags off yet. So I definitely think that this should just go. The next thing I'm going to show you is a bit boring, but it's also kind of important to us ladies. I got a bra. This is not my sexy piece of lingerie. Like, I have those. This is not what that is. Just like a t-shirt dress, we should all have these comfy, padless, correctly fitted bras. The difference between wearing an incorrectly sized bra and a correctly sized bra is so significant on your actual appearance. Like, it can just make you look, your body looks so much better. So go get sized. Do it. So I showed you the jacket at the very beginning that I got from Nashville. And I also picked up some other things while I was there. I got this nude tan men's blazer and it fits it fits. The only thing I'm not crazy about is the shoulder pads. I'm also worried that if I decide to cut them out that I might regret taking them out and wish that I still had them. So I've been wearing this with shoulder pads. I like how long it is. This is clearly made for like a very skinny, lanky man. But for me that's beneficial because it's not like this huge oversized like I'm wearing my boyfriend's blazer. It's more like I'm wearing this blazer and it's like a little bit longer which is good for my body type because I have a short torso and long legs so sometimes I like to even it out. Now <laughs> I got not one but two pieces of camouflage. I showed this in my last video. This actual US Army camouflage jacket with the last name on the right chest and the patch on the side. This has been just a nice piece to wear over t-shirts, like when I'm wearing like a band t-shirt, throwing this over and then wearing my Doc Martens. Definitely a go-to outfit. This camouflage jacket is the digital camouflage and this one's a bit thinner and a bit more fitted. The other camouflage jacket is just like when I'm wearing like some baggy, comfy, loose-fitting clothes. This is more like in replace of, I have this North Face like tight kind of active wear jacket and I've been using this like as a little bit of a spicier version. Then I got another piece of sports gear. I've been wanting a baseball uniform top for as long as I can remember. I've wanted to be a sexy baseball player for Halloween so many times where I just wear this huge push-up bra and then I wear this with either nothing underneath or like some booty shorts and like the high thigh-high socks and tennis shoes. I have been dreaming of that since I was like 12. And finally I can do that. I'm so excited. This is for the Yankees. So it says New York on it. It's genuine merchandise. It says it on here. I'm stoked. I haven't worn that piece out yet, but I have worn it around the house and I'm just wearing like little shorts and a tank top. I'll throw it on over top and my slippers and I just think it looks cute. The finale of things, I went to an estate sale in Beverly Hills and I saw these dress pants and I'm not sure if they were originally for men or women, but they fit well. Like I'm really impressed. Uh, there's something wrong with the sewing on the bottom of the right leg, so I either need to sew it. Maybe I'll ask Drew to take it to school with him and see if he can get it sewn or something. Because um, I don't think I even have a needle and thread. That's kind of pathetic. Wow, like my great grandma, she'd be like, are you serious, I see? But other than that, these were great. Because of that, I got them for super cheap. And I was ready to pay like 10, 15, even borderline like $20 for these. And he said $2 and I was like, great, I'll take them. And he's like, damn it, I should have said five. It's like, I'll give you five, but like, you sold it to me for two. And he's like, okay, like we'll do it for two. And that's my entire haul. What was your favorite thing? Did you guys like seeing art stuff too? There's so many more things that I feel like I could show off than just beauty and fashion. I don't shop very often anymore. I used to shop a lot more. Now I think when I go shopping, I go on like a shopping spree. And this was my most recent shopping spree. All these things were acquired probably over the course of April. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you follow me on Snapchat, Lexi.Lombard. 
follow me on Twitter at Lexi. My Twitter game has been hella good recently for some reason. I think I've been putting more effort into Twitter than anything else, but I've I've wanted to advertise my Snapchat the most. And Instagram, you know, give it some love too. And subscribe to the channel. Tell your friends. Tell five friends and I'll subscribe to your channel. We'll, we'll make a deal. Let's do something crazy. Well, I will see you on Tuesday with a what I eat in a day video. And until then, take care. Wow, like my great grandma, she'd be like, are you serious, Lexi? I feel like I've had this ongoing argument in my head for years. And the cone. I, I'm gonna edit that part out, that was ugly.